we're ready to install the ducted fan unit right about here. Now before you install your ducted fan unit, of course, make sure that it turns the correct way because once you get all this wiring and speed controller inside the fuselage tube, it's a little difficult to take it apart. I also recommend covering these joints where the connectors are to prevent arcing of the current between the two or three um, leads. So cover at least two of them, ideally three. Next check and ensure that the fan itself spins freely in the housing and that it's not mounted off axis. It's very fine tolerance the space at the tips of the blades. It's very easy for it to bind. So in a resting state, make sure that it spins freely. If there's any compression of it, you'll hear it binding inside the duct. This is also important when you put it inside your fuselage tube. You have to take a lot of care not to squeeze anywhere in any direction on the duct, otherwise it won't permit the fan to spin properly inside the duct. Okay, so the ducted fan unit is going to sit in about approximately this position, the speed controller here, and your battery junction there. Now looking inside the fuselage tube, you'll see there's the, the lip of the joiner on the bottom. There's nothing on the, on the top right there. And so the ducted fan leading edge of the duct itself is going to sit against that lip. So take your speed control, put that in first, drop in the wires, turn the ducted fan, and slide it into place like that. Give it a little spin, make sure it's not binding. Sounds good. Now this is a little unconventional the way I recommend doing this but it's to use hot glue and just apply a blob at each corner of the ducted fan just to suspend it in place. That way it avoids any excess tension or pressure from the sides of the fuselage tube that might cause the fan unit to bind itself. So what I do is get all the wires situated like that, take your hot glue gun, and apply a big blob of glue on the bottom between the fuselage tube and the fan unit itself and then hold the fan unit parallel with the uh, fuselage tube looking straight down and allow that to cool. Okay, so once that glue is hardened on the bottom where you've just applied it, repeat that process with more hot glue and put a nice healthy blob of glue between the duct unit and the fuselage tube itself and you can actually kind of give it a little squish up and then pull it back into place and that'll ensure there's a nice bridge of glue between the ducted fan unit and the fuselage and just hold that in alignment this way as much as you can. There will be a little bit of room for adjustment in a moment. Let that cool and harden. Now that I've applied the glue to the top and the bottom, it's nice and hardened. There's still a little bit of room to adjust the side to side axis so you can kind of wiggle that around a little bit, get it straight how you like it and reapply more hot glue along the sides. A nice healthy blob on each side to bridge the space between the ducted fan unit and the sides of the fuselage tube. Okay, now everything's hardened in place. The ducted fan is mounted and aligned. As far as what to do about these little corners around the ducted fan unit, they seem to be pretty harmless. So I suppose you could seal them off for more directed airflow through the fan unit. But in this kind of medium performance airplane, I don't really think it makes a lot of difference, so use your discretion on that.